Hey, yo, YouTube, Flowcat here, and it is time for How Do I Fishel? Before we jump into that, just the normal disclaimer. In this series, we will be analyzing each unit's kit and discussing how I utilize them in-game. We will discuss how I like to build them, mechanics I find useful for them, and teams that I like to run those units in. In this video series, I'm not telling you to do what I do. I'm not telling you this is the optimal or best way to play each unit. I'm simply telling you what I do in hopes that you find it useful, interesting, or entertaining. Please keep this in mind in the comment section below, and as always, be respectful. Thanks. First, we'll talk about her skills and then discuss what role she plays in your team. Fischl's auto attack sequence has some of the coolest animations in the game and strikes five times. Her charge attack is standard for bow users. Aim her bow for two seconds to infuse the arrow with electro. Her E summons Oz, which will deal AoE electro damage upon entrance, and then he will consistently deal electro damage and provide energy for your party members. This has a duration of 10 seconds and a cooldown of 25 seconds. Her burst causes her to take on Oz's form for a short time and fly around the battlefield. She deals electro damage when she comes in contact with enemies, and after this state ends, Oz will remain on the field for 10 seconds, attacking enemies as he usually does and providing energy. This has a cooldown of 15 seconds and an energy cost of 60. Her first passive talent doesn't have much use, but if you shoot an electro arrow at Oz, he will convert it to AoE damage and boost its damage slightly. Her second passive talent will boost Oz's damage in a reaction-based team. When your on-field unit triggers electro-based reactions, Oz will deal an additional instance of electro damage to that enemy. After analyzing her kit, I think it's quite obvious that Fischl is a sub-DPS, much like Zinchu, Beto, or other sub-DPSs in the game. What's great about Fischl is that her sub-DPS damage is accessible with her E, and it's not too hard to charge her burst to maintain Oz's duration on the field. For this reason, you can have a lot of uptime on your Oz and deal a lot of off-field damage with Fischl, as well as providing energy for your team. And now we're going to talk about investment, I'll show you my Fischl. She's level 80 out of 90. These are her stats. I'm currently running her on an R1 Skyward Harp. If you don't have Skyward Harp, other great options for her include Stringless, Alley Hunter, Elegy for the End, or even Polar Star. There was even a bow that came out specifically for Fizz Fischl called the Mitternox Vaults. That being said, if you are running Fizz Fischl, like Fizz DPS Fischl, Rust is a fantastic option as well. For artifacts, I'm just running her on a two-piece Gladiator, two-piece Thundering Fury set. She can be run on a two-piece Bloodstain, two-piece Pale Flame for Fizz Fischl. But really, her set isn't as important. You could run her on pretty much any two-piece, two-piece bonus, like two-piece Shimanawa, two-piece Glad, two-piece Shimanawa, two-piece Thundering Fury. There's kind of a lot of options for her. If you're running her in a, specifically an Electro Charge comp, you can run Thunder Soother on her because the Electro Aura will stay on the enemy with the Hydro Aura and allow you to maintain that damage bonus. I have her talents at three, 11, and nine. And yeah, now we're gonna move into the team building section. As we discussed earlier, Fischl is a sub DPS and that's how I'm going to showcase her in these teams. First up, we have Kokomi, Sara, Fischl, and Kazuha. This is one of the many variations of an Electro Charge team. You have Kokomi for Hydro Application and Healing, Sara for boosting Fischl and Kazuha's damage, and Kazuha and Sara are gonna be on field most of the time doing the DPS. Let me show you this one. Next up, we have Zhang Ling, Benny, Fischl, and Child. This is an oversplode team where we're mixing Electro Charge, Overload, and Vaporize. Zhang Ling is there for sub DPS damage, Benny to heal and boost damage, Fischl for sub DPS damage, and Child is there as the driver and hydro enabler for the comp.
Last up, we have Kokomi, Albedo, Fischl, and Yoimiya. This is a really cool rainbow comp and actually one of my favorite rainbow comps in the game. The reason why is because this team is so easy to play. You put the jellyfish down, you put the flower down, you put Oz down, and you go DPS with Yoimiya. It's that simple. You can even change up the rotations as you want by occasionally bursting with Kokomi, and you can also mix in Albedo and Fischl's burst while you're doing your rotation. Let's jump into the showcase for this team. Welcome back for the team showcases. As you saw, Fischl is an incredibly effective electro enabler, sub DPS, and even a battery for your team. And so now we have to talk about mechanics. And I want to focus on one specific mechanic that's incredibly important for Fischl. She can recall Oz to her side, which will reposition him. This can be extremely useful in a fight, but there is a caveat. I've discussed snapshotting before, and snapshotting is when you capture a buff by casting a skill, and you keep that buff through the entire duration of the skill, even if the buff wears off somewhere in the middle. Fischl can snapshot with Oz. That means if you summon Oz in Benny's buff, and his buff wears off, you will keep the damage bonus on Oz, except if you reposition him. If you reposition him, it counts as resummoning him and you will lose any snapshotted buff that you have on Oz. So keep this in mind that if you are going to reposition Oz, you either want your buffs to still be up so that you can re-snapshot them or reapply the buffs so you can snapshot them again, or just don't reposition him because you'll lose the buff entirely. But yeah, that's the most important mechanic to keep in mind for Fischl. Other than that, alternate between her skill and her burst to keep Oz on the field as much as possible. And now we move into our constellations. Her C1 causes Oz to deal an additional instance of damage when Fischl auto attacks. Her C2 increases the damage in AoE when you summon Oz. Her C4 adds an additional damage instance to the cast of her burst and will also heal Fischl when the burst ends. And her C6 is ridiculous. It'll increase Oz's duration by two seconds, totaling up to four seconds with her skill and her burst cast. And as well, Oz will perform joint attacks with your on-field unit, dealing additional instances of electro damage every single time they attack. Overall, her constellations don't change her kit at all. All they do is make her more effective and her C6 can turn Oz into a machine gun if you play with fast attacking units. Yeah, that's gonna bring us to the end of the video. Fischl is an extremely powerful sub DPS and she also enables a lot of reaction comps. Drop a like on the video if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to grow my community and my channel and I would super love to have you as a part of it. Comment down below and let me know what teams you like to use your Fischl in. And as always, stay healthy, stay hydrated, peace.